And meanwhile, Cinco de Mayo may be on Thursday, but the Shafter community celebrated big today. The event came back in full swing after a two year COVID induced hiatus. 23 ABC's Michael Gooby was there as the streets of Shafter filled with Mexican tradition festivities and brings us the details. There was music, food, colors, culture, and vibrance all around Menal Park as residents in Shafter came out to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo was actually a battle that was fought in Puebla, uh, Mexico, when uh, Mexico was at war with the French. Francisca Garcia with the Shafter Cinco de Mayo committee says that they are trying to use that vital part of history to host events like these that help unite people. To build bridges uh, between the Mexican Latino community and the larger community. The day started off with the parade showcasing different aspects of Mexican and Latin culture. 30 groups participated in the parade through the streets. After that, the festivities moved to Manel Park, where organizations presented different traditional dances. There was even a Zumba performance as well. This is my first event of Cinco de Mayo, and I love it. Like, I'm obsessed with the show. Um, everybody should come and see it. Like, it's beautiful. Bridget Bolanos was one of the vendors at the event. She decorates and sells caps, hats, and bracelets, and says she was glad to be there. It's so amazing. Everybody supports everybody here. How does it make you feel to come out here? Happy. I mean, it's good to support our culture. Garcia says she was thrilled to see hundreds of people turn out. The event was on pause for two years during the pandemic, but adds that community members have been waiting for events to return and were asking about it as well. Are you going to have Cinco de Mayo? Have Cinco de Mayo. Get it ready. Get it organized. We're ready to go. We're ready to get out you know, and, and participate. People say events like these are important to make sure the culture is passed through generations. It's really important because we don't want like young kids like him to lose those traditions. We want them to keep doing it. And you can learn more about upcoming events celebrating Cinco de Mayo in our community at our website, turn to 23com In Shafter, I'm Maithili Gobi, 23ABC, connecting you.